Hello, this is another signature tutorial. Um, start off with a new document. I'm going to have mine 500 by 150. But that's just the one I like to use. There's plenty of other uh, signature canvas sizes that you might like. But I quite like this one. First of all, what I'm going to do is let me find it. I'm going to use the stadium for the background. Um, so I just put that there, and then I'm going to apply my first render. I'll do this one. I've already ap applied an outer glow for this. I thought it looked nice. Um, Okay, I'm probably just going to leave it like, like that, but you could uh, check out my other videos for methods of blurring different uh, renders and that, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to use the West Ham United Club badge, um, set to normal. And if you press Ctrl and T to bring up the transform tool, you can actually turn it onto its side, and that's what I've done for my... Make sure you hold shift while you're moving it around, uh, just to keep it in proportion. Looks good there. Now I'm just going to right click the layer and duplicate. Okay, and duplicate it again. And I'm going to set the top one to overlay. I'm going to set the middle one to overlay set to normal and I'm going to go filter blur lens blur just see how this looks you want it to be blurred but you want the actual initial shape of it still like that so that looks fine looks good um, I'm going to blur it a little bit so the edge is a bit more blurred so filter blur See what blur mode does. It doesn't really do anything, so edit, undo. Filter, blur. I'm gonna try this blur again, but set it down to like not very high pixels. Something like that. About five pixels I've set mine to. And I'm gonna view these two again. What I'm going to do is with the middle layer, I'm going to go onto image adjustments and hue saturation, or you can just press Ctrl and U. I'm going to try and put the saturation down a little bit, but first just cancel that. And I'm going to put the opacity to about 50%. Um, image adjustments, hue saturation, and just the saturation down to about minus 50 I'm going to. Um, let's we'll see what it looks like at minus 100. And click your top layer and just move it out of the way slightly. Just so it gives it that blurred look. I quite like that but you could just leave it as it was. I think it looks quite nice. Just depends on what taste you've got. And now we're going to put my second render in. So just drag it on. If it needs any moving about then uh, or resizing, control and T to bring up the transform. Make sure you hold shift while you're messing around. Keep it in proportion. And I'm gonna leave it like that size though. I'm gonna give it an outer glow. So while you while you've got that l layer selected, go down to this little it looks like an F. Um, blending options and uh, outer glow, just tick that box and you can just mess around with the settings, just see what you like. Set the opacity to 100%, well, probably leave it at 75 and just mess around with 
Again, you don't have to put an outer glow in it. Um, okay, now... Okay, so now we're going to add a border around the outside. Um, so, if you've got a layer that's not being used, this is my background layer, I'm just going to move that to the very top. Or you can just create a new layer. And select all. And go to edit stroke. And I'll put my three pixels black. Okay. Now select and deselect. And use your magic wand tool to select inside that border. And go to edit stroke. Two pixels. White. Click OK. Um, and now last time, select, deselect, and use your magic wand to select inside the second border. Edit, stroke, leave it at two pixels. Well, you can change it to one pixel if you want. But nothing above two pixels. And select, deselect. Zoom in. And make this full screen. And use your magic wand while holding shift so you can select two borders just select the two outside borders and press control and X and they'll disappear control and V will make it reappear and it'll make a new layer for it select that layer to overlay and you can zoom back out that just gives it quite a nice border now I might reposition one of my renders smaller slightly like that and now I'm just going to just add a bit of text so um, Anton Ferdinand I'm going to change the, f the colour to red and the font to a downloaded font that's called Katana and I'm going to go on to blending options give it a stroke black at one pixels which makes it stand out a bit more and control and T I'm just going to turn on a slight angle like that just to give it something extra to put it there and then you can just add your name um, alright then thanks very much for watching and be sure to watch some more if you need any help um, you can also drop me a comment or a personal message and I'll definitely get back to you. Alright then, thanks very much for watching. See you later.